In this week's feature, the Dixie National Sale of Junior Champions, we cover it every year, one of the state's biggest livestock events, a chance for 4-H and FFA students to showcase their award-winning animals. At the end of the day, it's not about winning or losing, it's about being able to wake up and the responsibility that comes with it, knowing that that animal is something that you've worked hard for, and if it wins, if it loses, you've raised it, it's alive, you've done the hard work, and it's all because of you. Responsibility, a word that pretty much defines Emma Grace Putnam, a 16-year-old junior from the Mississippi Delta. This is her fourth year of the Dixie National Sale of Junior Champions. She's been showing animals for 10 years. Uh, my brother and my sister are older than me, so I kind of got into it as pre-4-H at our county and district show. And as soon as I came of age to sh like legally show, I started and never fell out of love with it. It's one of those things that if you start, you just get addicted. It was another great year for the Dixie National, a record-breaking year in fact, grossing more than $484,000 on 53 animals sold. 39 scholarships were awarded, totaling $61,500. For all the 4-H and FFA kids involved, it was a magnificent chance to shine. And for Mississippi's Ag Commissioner Andy Gibson, a chance to brag on these kids he and so many others hope will stay right here and flourish at home in the Magnolia State. And I want to suggest to you that this is the best youth development and the best workforce development program in the state of Mississippi. The youth livestock programs with 4-H and FFA, the great work of Mississippi State University, the extension agents, and the ag teachers out there in every county. And today we celebrate the culmination of their hard work. These are the young people who are our future leaders. If you want to see the future of Mississippi, you look at these young people here today. The work ethic and drive of these young people weren't lost on Angus Catshot either. He's the new director of Mississippi State University Extension here at the sale for the first time. Because Extension oversees 4-H, needless to say, he and the rest of Extension have a vested interest in seeing these kids do well. You can tell the responsibility of raising animals has resonated through the way they carry themselves and they're gonna be productive in the workforce as they graduate and move on because the skills that they have, that they've learned through this is gonna is going to resonate throughout their career. Alex Deason, Emma Grace's agent from Sunflower County, couldn't agree more. He's been working with her since she was eight years old and couldn't be prouder of her effort and success. For her, he says, 4-H was the key. It rewards the kids that put in the work ethic like Emma Grace and many others that you see absolutely love the program and gain so many benefits, responsibility, leadership, work ethic, all of it. It's just rewarding to see these kids be able to surprise everybody with what they do in here. This year, Emma Grace had a lamb in the sale of Division I reserve champion named O'Malley. She had support from her sister Lily, who aged out of 4-H herself a couple of years ago and now attends Mississippi State. My sister has been the biggest influence ever in my life. She's the only person I can look at and say, I want to be like her when I grow up. And for me, I will never be able to let her understand how much I appreciate that and how much that helps me in my life. O'Malley brought in $8,500 in this year's sale, but for Emma Grace, who plans on attending college and vet school one day, specializing in animal reproduction, it's not about the money. For her, there's a deeper meaning behind it all, just one of the things she likes so much about raising sheep. Even on the bad days, it's always something that you can just go and work with. and. Even when they're not setting up perfectly or they're not eating their feed right, it's always going to be just get it, just get it done. There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. And for me, I, I don't I just, I love sheep and that's just something I always have. I guess watching them from the day they're born is just comes with a little more love and compassion. Emma Grace has come far in her young life. Like so many young people at the Dixie National, she's accomplished much. Even so, she also knows there's much work ahead and 
She'll love every minute of it. There's so many things that I've learned as far as responsibility, leadership, sportsmanship, like being able to feed an animal. I think that all of these things will come into my life in the future, and I'm excited to see where it'll take me. Congratulations to Emma Grace Putnam and to all those young people. Well done.